video will be understanding the water diamond paradox. So, you need to imagine a situation where you are playing a game. And if you win this game, you have two choices. Either you can choose a piece of diamond or you can choose a bottle of water. Now you have won this game. Okay. So what would you choose? A piece of diamond or a bottle of water? Of course, you would choose a piece of diamond. Now, moving on, you need to imagine another scenario where you are stranded in a desert area and you are very thirsty. Now, given the same situation to choose between diamond or a water, what would you choose here in this situation? Of course, you choose a bottle of water. Because what would you do if you choose this diamond and cannot make it out alive of this desert area? I hope you all imagined with me, right? Coming back to reality, you see, water, which is very essential element to survive this life, is valued very less as compared to diamond, which is priced very high. So this is exactly the water diamond paradox. Adam Smith tried to explain this paradox using the theory of value, but he wasn't very successful in answering many questions. When we talk about Smith's theory of value, he values things depending upon the amount of labor that was required to make that thing. For example, I have this pen. So many labors were required or machines were required to make this pen, but we will only take labor this time. So to make this pen, uh, we need to first gather some plastic and other material to fix this pen. Okay, now this pen, the value of this pen was determined by the amount of labor that was required to make this pen. He said, water doesn't require much of a labor and is available in abundance. That is why it is priced very less. Whereas when you look at the diamond piece, it requires a lot of labor and that is why it is high priced. But suppose you're walking somewhere and you find a diamond naturally just lying there. In this situation, there was no labor required. You just found a diamond just lying there naturally. So will this diamond found, the diamond which was found, will not be high valued? Of course not. This wasn't answered by Smith's theory. Another economist such as Menger, Jevons, Walrus, they tried to solve this paradox using the theory of marginal utility. According to economists, water is available in plenty, whereas diamond is very scarce. That is why water has a very low marginal utility. On the other side, diamond, which is available in very uh, less amount and is a very scarce resource, has a very high marginal utility. So this was all about the water diamond paradox. I'll see you in the next video. So please, if you like this video, like, share and subscribe to our channel Ecoholics. Thank you.